everybody, welcome back to Brightford Acres. It's me, Taylor, and happy spring! It's finally warm out. We're here at the farm and it's sunny, 75 degrees. We have a few things that we need to get done today, like rebuilding some of the raised beds that, if you would remember, my dad completely destroyed um, when we were moving the shed a few months ago. And then also, we have a fun update. Our garlic is actually starting to sprout. And we have some onion seeds to plant. A fun day ahead of us, so let's just get started. The first item on our list was to reassemble our raised beds that got taken apart and flattened when we were moving the shed. Thankfully, these raised beds are easy to assemble and only took me and my sister a few minutes. We ran over to our compost pile and began scooping and scooping and scooping and scooping. Needless to say, we were going to need a lot of soil to refill these beds. Let's go! You may notice in the next two clips that my pants look different. That's actually because I was getting so hot that I ran inside and cut off the legs of my pants, so now they are shorts. Should be a lesson to all to come prepared for summer weather. Hey guys, it's onion season. You know what that means. We're planting onions up here at the farm. So this is what we're doing today. Um, we're not doing bunching onions because it's not time for those, but we are doing onion bulbs, chives, and garlic chives, which I love. Come along with us while we plant these. Here are the seeds that we will be planting today. First up is chives. You can plant chives four to six weeks before the last frost date, depending on your growing zone. As long as the soil is workable, about 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7.222 degrees Celsius. Dig holes that are 3 fourths of an inch deep and 8 to 12 inches apart. Group 10 seeds together per each hole. Next up is onions. We have onion seeds and not sets, which means it is likely that it will take two growing seasons for us to see reasonably sized onions. The planting instructions are similar to chives, as they can also be planted before the last frost date. Group two to three onion seeds per hole. As they grow, they will need to be thinned out. To protect our freshly planted onions and chives, we covered them with a thin layer of mulch. Look at that. I'm looking over here and what is that? This flew off of my greenhouse. The window like, completely shattered. It like flew up, shattered. This pane of polyurethane came out. So we went and bought a new one. We, don't, we never had to buy a new one. We had it all along. It's so exciting to see buds starting to grow on our pears and apple trees, but unfortunately we did have a lot of standing water, so my sister and I had to dig this really deep trench to try to move the water out of the mulch and into the open space in the garden. And as we were digging, we actually noticed that the soil was still frozen and there was actually frost inside the soil, and that was a really cool thing to see, but also very hard to dig. I'm so excited that it's finally spring and I have so many things that I want to show you guys so please stick around because there's new videos coming soon. Bye for now!